6.3, number 27, uh, instructions evaluate the integral using substitution prior to integration by parts. So a substitution, I'll call it a substitution. Um, I'm not going to use u substitution just because we're going to use our u in integration by parts. So I'll just say it's a. Um, so it's not always obvious um, in u substitution what to choose your u is, and we don't necessarily know if this is going to help just by choosing this as our u, or in this case, a. Um, but the instructions do say to do that, so that's, that's I'm kind of convinced that that might be the way to go based on the instructions. So remember in u substitution, we are solving for dx. So we have to solve for dx. So dx equals two square root of x dA. Um, so now we're going to write this integral in terms of just a, if we can. So sine of a times dx, which is 2 square root of x dA. Well, we still have x in there, but we do know that a is the square root of x. So we can always, we just put that as a. I'm going to bring the 2 out. So 2 integral of a sine a dA. So it's 2 a sonata, um, which is set up for integration by parts. I see that there is a polynomial right there. And the polynomial, that would be our u. And trig is further down on the word lipid. So that's our u. Um, I'm going to leave this 2 out of it and try not to forget about it later. All right, so our u is a, and our dv is everything else. Um, du dA equals 1, so du equals dA. And antiderivative sine is negative cosine. All right, so integration by parts is u v minus integral of v du. So u v minus integral of v du. All right, so uh, I can make that a plus, plus. So now we're just integrating cosine of a, which is just sine a. Um, so two things, we've got our a's, which we have to turn into square roots of x, and we can't forget about our two either. So, so I have negative 2 square root of x cosine square root of x plus 2 sine square root of x plus c.